Hello everybody, um, this is Mrs. White. Uh, we are going to simplify 8 27 raised to the 2 thirds power. Looks a little intimidating, but it's really not. Okay, so what we're doing is we have a fraction 8 over 27 raised to the 2 thirds power. Okay, and you may recall I can write that in one of two different ways. I can write that as 8 over 27 squared and take the cubed root of it or I can write it as the cubed root of 8 over 27 that whole quantity squared. So the squared can go either inside the radical as it does here or it can go outside the radical as it does here. They're both equivalent. Well, which one do you use? Mm, you can take a look at here. You see you can take this 827 and actually square it and then factor from there and see if you can take the cubed root but I prefer not to make the number bigger if I can avoid it so I'm not going to use that one I think I can avoid making those numbers bigger I'm going to go over here and I happen to know um, that 8 is a perfect cube and so is 27 so I'm going to go with this method well, what if you didn't remember that 8 was a perfect cube and that 27 wasn't, uh, was a perfect cube? What would you do? Well, here's what I would do. I would rewrite <coughs> this cubed root as the cubed root of 8 over the cubed root of 27. Okay, and we're still bringing this outside squaring along for the ride. Okay, and I can also uh, clean that up a little bit. I can say that the cubed root of 8 is really equivalent to, well, let's factor 8. Okay, so I'm going to factor 8 to be 2 times 2, which is 4, times another 2, which is 8. And I'm going to do the same trick here. I'm going to try to factor 27 so that I have three of the same factors underneath it. So that's 3 times 3 times 3, right? 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27. Okay, and I still have this whole business being, being squared. Well, look, we can simplify this. If you're taking the cubed root of something multiplied by itself three times, you're canceling it out. So really this is the cubed root of 2 cubed and this is the cubed root of 3 cubed whole thing squared and as I just mentioned if you're taking the cubed root of something cubed well they really undo each other and you end up with 2 and here again, we're taking the cubed root of something cubed. They cancel each other out. You end up with 3. Don't forget to bring along this squaring. So now that we've cleaned up inside the parentheses, we can actually do the square function. So 2 squared is 4 and 3 squared is 9. Can I reduce that fraction further? No, I cannot. That is my answer.